petition at the Supreme Court Monday laying ground for a court battle between a president-elect, William Ruto, the IEBC and the Zemiro coalition itself, led by Raila Odinga and Amada Karua. In the petition, the duo seeks to have the election nullified and Chebukati barred from participating in the repeat election should they win. Look up TV now takes a look at what constitutional challenge that would present if all the Supreme Court grants the duo what they seek. The duo that presents itself as the champions of democracy walked to the corridors of justice on Monday to file a petition challenging the presidential election, arguing that they have enough evidence to have the declaration of William Ruto as president-elect declared null and void by the courts. Among the 23 reliefs the Azimio teams are seeking to have is Wafula Chibukati out of office should the country go back to a repeat election. However, if this will be the move by the Supreme Court, then this will present another constitutional challenge according to advocate Peter Njagi. When you raise criminal culpability, it moves now from the question about you conducting that manner in compliance of the law, but what they are calling the application in furtherance of a criminal enterprise, meaning that it was part and parcel of, uh, of, of, of an illegality and if other kind of an exercise. Remember that uh, the chairperson of the IBC and the commissioners at large sit in that commission in conformity with Article 88 of the Constitution, which gives the mandate for them to sit in that commission. So it, the first thing that we should establish is that they had the capacity to make that determination. Nullification of the election is one thing, but having Chebukati out of office before another election is a different thing that will need to go back to the courts and prove that the referee is incapacitated to hold another election. These state officers have what you call security of China, mm -hmm which is meant to act as a shield but not as a sword to protect them from intimidation or from frustration in exercise of their of their duty uh, so that upon such kind of an event then somebody also needs to move to court again to bring another counter counter suit mm -hmm. in the in the in the, super, in the superior court for purposes of of uh, showing the culpability that the referee is not fit to conduct such a, of an exercise uh, but uh, the bearing of such kind of uh, an action is actually hinged on the outcome from the Supreme Court finding. Should the courts declare Wafula Chibukati incapacitated, the commission could still proceed with an election. If at all, it will be well constituted and has enough quorum, which Njagi argues it does not have to be seven commissioners based on previous cases of by-elections. A nullification does not necessarily mean that the same institution or the same person manning that institution because remember ABC is a body corporate mm -hmm. just like a company mm -hmm. and it is run by commissioners mm -hmm. so it doesn't necessarily mean that they are not fit to conduct that election because the, the Supreme Court application has been found to have merits no the only challenge of what we would find ourselves to is that the application is found to have merit mm -hmm. and then the court has moved further and actually imputed criminal culpability mm -hmm. on the enterprise that they are alleging in the Supreme, in the Supreme Court mm -hmm. that these people were actually in furtherance of this kind of an exercise, now which will bring the question about uh, their, cap their capability mm -hmm. to, to, to conduct such a by-election if such a by-election is ordered by the court. The burden of proof now lies with the Azimio team. The amici as curia of somebody who is well seized with multiple computation or forensic analysis would come. And uh, if nobody attained that requirement of 50% plus one, then it follows, just like they follows the night, mm -hmm. is the outcome of that election uh, was not in compliance with the constitution and the person so declared cannot be president-elect mm -hmm. because of failure to admit, attain the threshold. The petition, which was filed on Monday 22nd of August, will be determined on 5th of September 2022, taking a period of 14 days as stipulated in the constitution. Brian Amuai, Look Up TV, Nairobi.